gonna take a look at my snake collection. That's where I keep my boa. Which is currently eating at the moment. I've got a spider ball python who's currently in shed hiding. And then I got my regular ball python who's way back there who I'm about to get out here in just a minute and give him a nice uh, large mouse. Currently, the bow is doing his thing. Kind of needs to hurry up. So, anyway, those are my snakes. <clears throat> Got their under tank heaters on a on a thermostat controller, Reptifogger, which they're both going in the shed right now, so I've got their humidity turned up a little bit higher than than usual. This is a uh I can't really see the the Zoomed Hygro Hygrotherm, something like that, but it controls the humidity and the uh, gradient radiant heat with this little sensor in there and uh, yeah so that's, that's that we got the day and night bulb same basically the same setup here uh, and then this one I got a little different I do have a temperature controller right here which this one is a Zilla works pretty good and uh, I hold the humidity in there with this big big water bowl and the top I don't know if you can see it I've got saran wrap with a gap right here to where the air can get in but it holds the humidity in there good seems to be doing good is it sleeping? yeah the mouse is sleeping why? so <laughs> Snake you gotta eat it? Yeah, they gotta be asleep for the snake to eat it. Which this guy needs to hurry up. He finally got that nose down his throat. Ew. What do you, what do you think about that? I don't know. You don't know? Hi. Oh, well, I guess this this is a male albino red tail. Really pretty tail. I just got him at a uh, Repticon here in Atlanta. Got this guy, Pet Smart. This guy at Petco, so they were really rescues. Living a lot better now. But they're all babies. And yeah, so this one's the oldest. Probably, probably three months, maybe. This one's only like one or two. And then this one's probably around a month old. And you know, I did a lot of research on different types of snakes and stuff just kind of just kind of learning about them and how to take care of them how to handle them and they've really been great snakes um the bow has never been aggressive or even really defensive which is kind of surprising from what i hear when they're that young um really got his mouth open pretty wide right there And, uh, 
and then the ball pythons the spider is very timid not aggressive at all it just wants to ball up and it was really kind of hard to get it to start eating because it was so afraid to eat so it didn't eat for a couple weeks and then it ate and then it didn't eat and then it's been eating regularly ever since probably um, I'm gonna feed it tomorrow it'll be the fourth time this one the regular has been awesome awesome eater eats every time no questions asked and you'll see that here when I feed it in a second and uh, it does get huffy and puffy with me occasionally but it's never struck at me it's just really been a good snake I had some shedding issues when I first got it which I blame on PetSmart for not having their bulbs and stuff correct but uh, I soaked it took care of it got its eye caps off which was really an adventure for a new snake owner so anyways I love them I highly recommend either one of these snakes the boa really is probably one of the more the chillest of all the snakes he just kinda hangs out he'll sit on you he'll look around a little bit but he doesn't go too far um, my regular ball python is very very curious and interested in everything and then the uh, spider ball python is scared of everything so he just sits there and, and hopes he doesn't get hit by anything or hurt But yeah, he's about got this one down. <laughs> kind of weird because I've never seen him eat upside down like this. And he's eating a small, small mouse, which is what I was told, a hopper. It's what the uh, breeder that I got him from told me to feed him so this would be his third time eating so um, you know he's had no problems with him before he looks like he's getting it right they're all on frozen thawed and I'll kind of also show you how I prepare the frozen thawed which I learned from another guy on YouTube and it's worked pretty good you kinda just you get them make sure they're thawed out you can thaw them out in water or just let them sit out for about 30 minutes and then uh, after they're thawed out you heat up some water about 30 seconds put the red in there for 10 15 seconds let it let it get some heat heat on it pat it dry and then you just take the tongs and uh, present it to the snake and they usually take it like I said the only one I've ever had not take it was the spider which I got really small and it was really really scared but uh, it's doing really good it's been eating for about four weeks Oh boy. So that's about it. I'll let it get farther down its belly before I put it back.
pretty good lump in there. I think he's got his jaws all situated. Now he's looking for another one, which I don't have. Please don't think my hand is some more food. I kind of like to wait till they start looking around a little bit. Get going in a different direction, then I'll pick them up. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy back, try not to stress him out too much in the transfer because I don't want him to regurgitate. Put him right back in there nice and gentle. Never had any issues there. Put his top back on. Yeah, you're welcome for the food. All right, and I'm gonna pause it and uh, get the other snake ready. All right, here's Rambo. And he's kinda starting to shed a little bit. His belly is getting pink. But he knows it's feeding time here. Once I put him in this, he's gonna be looking. See, look at that. <laughs> he's ready to go. Let me get his. Get his food heated up here. I didn't cut it open. Uh, we're gonna let that warm up, and as you can see, he is ready. Like he is looking, he knows what's up. Which, which is a good thing. All right, so make sure it's nice and hot. Dry it off a little bit, grab it by the scruff, and then he's about to go to town here in a second. <laughs> Didn't really grab it that great, but kind of had him at a weird angle. Just barely got him. <laughs> and he finally let go of his stupid hold he had on there. You can do it. Find the head. There you go.
looks like he's going to go hide out. Once they get that nose and the front feet in there, it's pretty smooth sailing at that point. You can kind of see its little teeth. This camera can pick them up. he's doing his thing we'll go check on this guy over here which he's not going to be doing much because A he doesn't do much to begin with and B he's in shed so he's going to be really nervous of everything but we'll get him up and check out his dullness. I don't know if the camera can see. Eyeballs are pretty pretty glazed over. They're really bad yesterday. Let me see if it'll show up here. Where are you going? So anyway, he's just really, really dull. So we'll go ahead and put him back. Sorry for disturbing you, bud. See how he's doing. Yeah, so once they get get around the nose and get the front feet in, it's 
pretty much smooth sailing at that point. Feeding the snake. Give it a mouth. Here, the other one in there. Fall on my phone. <laughs> I ain't got another rat for you. So yeah, that's that.